G'day, it's a law and expert here. I better just turn the radio off. G'day, it's a law and expert here. Just finished a job here at, uh, at Mossman, uh, which is sort of north side of driving Sydney Harbour. Through, um, through Mossman um, onto the next job. Uh, the next job I've got to do is to um, uh, is to start the lawn care, um, the, the weed and feed lawn care for um, for uh, a, a new customer. So um, it's a buffalo lawn. Now with buffalo, there's there's ten different buffaloes sold in Australia, and three of them don't handle the broadleaf weed herbicides. Those three are the American varieties. They're called ST26, ST85, and ST91. Now, the moment we spray them, they die a couple of weeks later. So, what we do in any case with any new buffalo, we always we always test spray the, the buffalo to um, to, uh, and then what we do after that is we um, come back a couple of weeks later. Once we see that there's no damage. Then we um, uh, we know we can go ahead and spray the um, the lawn for all the all the weeds. Um, uh, yeah, so that's the uh, the protocol with all buffalo grasses. Um, uh, all of the uh, all of the good buffalo grasses, or Saint Augustine as they call it in America, all of the good buffalo grasses are um, uh, they're. Um, there are all the Aussie buffaloes, or the all the Australian buffaloes, like like uh, Sir Walter, um, King's Pride, Matilda, Sapphire, all those sort of buffaloes. So um, yeah, they're, uh, they're they're all all uh, good to deal with, and um, uh, never never a problem uh, treating them for their weeds. So. Um, no, that, that's the uh, story with buffalo grafts anyway. <clears throat> got to keep hydrated. Yeah, got to keep the fluids up.